الحمد لله وصل الحمد إبليس صلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله و... السلام عليكم ورحمة إبليس وبركاته وبركاته Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you a very shocking story. Ah, guys, prepare. Be prepared. Prepare to have your minds blown. A very, very shocking story. What is this? What is this story? Okay, let's get it. Let's get ready. Okay. And inshallah ta'ala, many of you are going to be able to relate to the lessons that we can take from this story. There used to be a sheikh. His name was Sheikh Muhammad. May Allah have mercy on him. And he used to teach his students about La ilaha illallah every day. So for people who don't know La ilaha illallah means there is no God but Allah. Okay. This is the most important principle in Islam. The most the, the core of Islam, the what everything else is in Islam is built on is the concept of Tawheed. Nothing is more important than Tawheed. Okay? Tawheed is basically the emphasis on the oneness of God and that God only being Allah, okay? Nothing else is more important. There's no teaching, there's no, this is the foundation of Islam, is the concept of Tawheed, that everything is Allah and Allah is every, uh, is, Allah is the center of everything, Allah is everything, Allah is basically, basically Allah and just Allah and nothing else but Allah, okay? Uh, that's Tawheed. And yeah, so any that's why the people who are really true to the Islamic ideology, they get they when they were, when they want to call out as pe pe other people as not being Muslim or their ideas not being Islam, um, the be the easiest way to do is for to show how they're challenging the idea of Tawhid, right? So for example, somebody like this guy would probably like point to. Shias and be like, look there. When a Shia like gets up and says like, ah, oh, yo Ali, ah, like that, right? So what are they doing? They're like calling the name of Ali, which is the first Imam for Shias, instead of the name of Allah. They're invoking the name of Ali instead of Allah, and that's why somebody got like this would be like, yeah, you guys are not Muslim. <laughs> if you say, if you say, if you say, oh yeah, Hussein, then you can't be Muslim because you are. Praying to Hussein instead of Allah, so they were like, "Yeah, you guys have missed. You guys have missed the entire point of Islam. The most important thing being Tawheed, right?" Um, <laughs> Ex-Muslim Uzbek liked what I said. Assalamu alaikum wa iblis. <laughs> you got you like that? Of course, we know that La ilaha illallah is the foundation of our religion. Okay, yeah. he used to teach them La ilaha illallah every day. And the, the subject in which you study La ilaha illallah is called Tawheed. Oh, see, he said the subject of La ilaha illallah is called Tawheed. Tawheed means the one that, uh, one that, oneness of, uh, um, of God, Allah, right? And Tawheed, so how in the live chat, Tawheed, uh, the root, of the, three the three letters that makes the root of Tawheed is Vahada, right? Vahada, like Vahid means like Ahad, no, wait. Vahid, how do you say one in Arabic, right? It, it's all, it comes from Vahada, right? Is Vahada the root verb? Soha, right? So Vahada, anything with Vahada in it, with Vehe and De, that means like it has something to do with oneness, one unit, Vahid, you know. Yeah, so Ahad. No, it's not Vahad, it's Ahad. Vahad or Ahad. So it's, eh, no, okay, so it's, it's the root word, I said it wrong. It's, it's Aleph Hede, not Vehede. Vahed is number one. Okay, Vahed means one. Oh, it's Vahad, so I was right. It's not Ahad, ex Muslim Uzbek, it's Vahad, I was correct. It's Wahada. To and Tawheed basically takes the root verb Wahada and just adds Te and some other stuff to it and be becomes, oh, Soha is saying Ahada. So it's not, is it Wahada or is it Ahada? The root verb. So oh, you're confusing me. You're not saying Ahada and also saying Vahada. Why are, you, why are you trying to confuse me? I think the root verb is Vahada. Oh, yeah, see? Yes, not Ahad. Yeah, see? Why are you guys confusing me? I'm correct and you guys confusing me. Been a long time since my Arabic lessons. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay, so I was correct. 
So basically, the story that we're um, covering right now is uh, this guy saying, how this had the story started. We have a sheikh, he has an Islamic class, and every day he's teaching to his students, la, la, ha, la, la, right? So there's no, God, there's no God except Allah. That's what he's teaching everybody. So we teach them the subject of Tawheed day in, day out. Every day. Now one day well, that gets boring very fast. Students, they... So one of the students, okay, wait. I keep interrupting this, hold on. The students, they expressed to the teacher that they wanted to learn something else. They said, Sheikh, what have we been studying La ilaha illallah and Tawheed for so long? And I really think that we know it now. So one of the students is like, Wallahi, Wallahi, we need to come up with an alternative to Wallahi. Wablis, Wallablisi, no, I don't know how to do that. Okay, so they're saying, um, Dude, like you keep teaching us about Tawheed. You keep every day, every, this Islamic class about is about there's no Allah, there's no God but Allah, there's no God but Allah. Every goddamn day, I'm pretty sure there's more to Islam than this concept. Can we move to lesson number two? Like we've we memorized this, the crap out of this teaching. Like, yeah, let's learn something else, okay? So this is what the request of some of this, one of the students, which I can relate to. Yeah, I mean, if this is day in, day out, if this is what you're te teaching students, then yeah, the student has a point, right? Can we not study something else about the religion? Yeah. Can we not go into some other topics and some other sciences? Yes, to Islam? yes. The sheikh said, oh, you know La ilaha illallah? You know Tawheed? Mm. Okay, no problem. Tomorrow, inshallah ta'ala, we'll start something new, start something fresh. Oh here, Optimus Prime saying Ib Iblahi, Iblahi would be good, I don't know. The next day, he came to start a new subject with his students. But before he started, he told the students about something that happened. He said, Okay, so we know where this is going. This, the, te the sheikh is like, okay, fine, let's go to a movie lesson. But the teacher has ulterior motives. He's like, I'm going to show them that... I mean, you can see this from a mile away, right? The teacher is going to be like, this is going to be shocking. This is not going to be shocking. I could already see the ending of the story, right? So the teacher is going to be like, you thought you know Tawheed. You thought you know Tawheed. You don't know Tawheed. And this is how, this is how the teacher is going to prove to them that they did not know Tawheed. Yes, yeah, so Wablisi. Okay, Wablisi. Wablisi, I know what the story, how the story is going to end. Wablisi. Okay, this is good. I like it. Wablisi. There was a man who lived just here, not far. And you know what he did? What? He slaughtered an animal in the name of a false god. <gasps> so, okay. So, there was a guy. So, instead of saying Bismillah and slaughtering the animal, he said Bismi Jesus or Bismi Iblis. In the name of a false god, not Allah, but a false god, he, saw, he slaughtered, slaughtered an animal. Okay. He sacrificed an animal in mm. the name of another god besides Allah Azza wa Jal, a false god. False god. Now, of course, this is shirk. 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 Shirk is the is when you say screw you, Tawheed. That's when you, that means shirk. Okay. So shirk means oh the root verb the root letters to the shirk is shereke. Okay. And shereke is always about partnering, sharing. Oh, shirk means sharing. Okay. My mushrik. Sharik. Oh, like for example, when you have a partner, that partner is your sharik. Sharik means partner because you're sharing things with each other, right? Um, so anything with shereke in it is about sharing things, okay? So what is shirk? Shirk means in Islamic context, shirk means sharing some godness with God, like having partners to God means like associating godhood to things that is not Allah. And that is shirk. So basically shirk, having partners with Allah, is challenges the most fundamental part of Islam, which is Tawheed, which is like there is no partner to God. It's just, there is no partner to Allah. It's just Allah is only God. There is nothing else, okay? I got the root verb right, yeah. Shereke, yes, yeah, Soha, Shereke, this is the root verb right here, see? Shereke is the root verb. Mushrikin is like the. Okay, so this is why when you say Mushrikin in the context of the Quran, 
you're referring to idolaters because idolaters are worshiping something other than Allah which is the idols so they're called hey like you guys are putting partners next to Allah so you guys are mushrik you guys are basically you know the whole idea of sharing is caring throw that out the window sharing is har sharing is evil okay sharing when it comes to sharing things with Allah you know sharing your worship sharing your divin sharing divinity with Allah that is sharing is not caring sharing will get you eternal hellfire okay sharing is bad sharing is naughty okay that's what sh uh, shirk is mean okay so he's like saying this other dude who was like um beheading this animal but instead of calling on the name of god he was calling them in, in the name of another um false god right instead of allah before beheading the animal what was he doing he was doing shirk he was doing something that is against Tawheed. Alright, so let's continue. The greatest sin. The greatest sin. The greatest sin, okay? There's no sin more, the worse than shirk, according to Islam. The one thing for which Allah Azza wa will not forgive a person if he fell into it. The only sin that Allah will not forgive a person for. Everything else will be forgiven. Everything else will be forgiven, okay? Stealing candy, lying to your parents, genocide, all, all can be forgiven. Every single one of them. Every single sin can be forgiven. Every single one of them. Even LGBT stuff? Yes, even LGBT stuff. Everything can be forgiven. But not shirk. The students were like, A'udhu Billah, Astaghfirullah. Oh, the students were like, A'udhu Billah, Astaghfirullah. A'udhu Billah, Amin Ash-Shaitan Rajeem. Okay, so the students are like, Oh my God, God protect us. God protect us from this sin. Okay, that's horrible. Okay, but they were saying it in a, you know, they're like, A'udhu Billah. Okay, so I say, A'udhu Billah, Amin Allah Rajeem. Okay, this is, I'm flipping it over. A'udhu, guys, we need to make that a thing. A'udhu Billah, A'udhu Billah, Amin Allah Rajeem. Disgusting. That's bad. That's filthy. That's bad. That's and filthy. That was their reaction. That was their reaction. They were like, they were like, oh my God, that's bad. Auzu billah, um, asaq for Allah. That's disgusting. Okay, okay. The sheikh he carried on. The sheikh carried. After some time. So the sheikh is clever. He didn't just say something right away because the students were like, wait, why are you saying this right away? He let some time pass, and now he's coming up with a second story. A second. This is a clever sheikh. He's now coming with a second story. He stopped his students again mm. and he told them about another man. Mm. He said, did you have... There's another man now. He's another story. I, th these are stupid students. If this... Like, I can see what's happening here and these students are not seeing what's happening here. Like, the sheikh is tricking them and they're falling for it, okay? They're, these students are kind of dumb. But let's continue. About the man who lives over there. There's another man that lives over there. Not over there. Not that other dude that I just talked about. There's another man that lives over there. Not over here, but over there. And this man, he done fornication with his mother. <clears throat> this, the second dude, he had sex with his mom. Okay. He slept with his mom. He did zina with his mom. He engaged in incest with his own mother. We get it. How many times, look, look how many different ways he has to say this. Okay. He slept with his mom. No, he first, he first fornicated with his mother. mother. He no, wait, hold on. Four different ways. With his mother. Wait, what? And this man, he he done fornication with his mother. He's done fornication with his mother. He slept with his mom. He did. He slept with his mom. He did zina with his mom. He did zina with his mom. Zina means unlawful sexual stuff. He engaged in incest with his own. He engaged with in incest with his own mother. Mother. Okay. Can you imagine the reaction of the students? They react, the students, what happened? They were in a state of shock. Ah, the students were like minds blown. What? And abhor. Oh no. Furiated. Furiated. Wait, first of all, why are you... Okay. What kind of a man would do that with his own mom? Yeah. And the, the, the sheikh struggling to contain them. Wait, is this a fake story? Because they could go murder that dude. Be careful, like don't spread fake stories just to make a point. The sheikh, he grabbed them now on this. 
So the the students just lost their mind on the second story. You guys know what the, you guys know what the point of the story is. Like it's obvious. It's kind of obvious. The sheikh, you know what the sheikh, the sheikh is like, gotcha, I got you, students. He said, now sleeping with your mom is a filthy thing, mm. but it's not but. as bad as shirk. He's just basically comparing the reactions. They're like, you guys, the students don't have their priorities straight. Because the first story, they were like, oh, this man beheaded an animal in the name of false God. The students were like, not even, no, so bad, so bad. And then the second story was like, this man slept with his mom. They're like, what? Holy crap, that is disgusting. What? What? How could? Like, and they're like, wait, what happened? What happened? You guys know to You guys said you know Tawheed. Didn't you think that this is Shirk the most evil thing ever, ever? Why were you not much more shocked with the first story? You guys think you know Tawheed, but you don't know Tawheed. Whereas that is a major sin. So yeah, you have sh major sin and Shirk. So you have small sin and then you have medium sin, and then you have major sin, and then you have shirk. It's just shirk. It's like, it's just its own category of sin. It's like the uber, the, the uber sin. The latter is major kufr, and it will take you outside the fold of Islam. Yeah, like all these other stuff that are evil, you can still be in Islam and you're just saying bad stuff, but you're in Islam. This one is just like, you just said, you just said, F you to Islam. He said, the fact that you showed more pain and more anguish to the sin shows that la ilaha illallah, you fully haven't understood it. Okay, so somebody in Twitch is asking, is being an atheist considered shirk? Depends on who you ask, okay? Because this guy probably thinks prioritizing every, anything above God is shirk. Okay? So, I think a lot of Muslims don't call us atheists, Mushrikun. They just call us kafirun, right? Uh, they, well, they call me a murtad. But, I think for this guy, anybody that has any priority other than Allah is a mushrik. Including most Muslims, I think, according to this guy. 